Hello and good morning. Of course, as well as bringing to God our requests, we also bring our thanksgiving. You may recall that we have prayed for Mark, a friend of mine who has been in intensive care with the coronavirus. Well, Mark has now been discarded from hospital and is at home recovering well, so we thank God for that. Today is Ilsa's 94th birthday, so Ilsa, many happy returns of the day as you join us this morning on your iPad. So I'd like to read again something from Jesus Calling. Come to me for rest and refreshment. Your journey has been too much for you and you are bone weary. Do not be ashamed of your exhaustion. Instead, see it as an opportunity for me to take charge of your life. Remember that I can fit everything into a pattern for good, including the things that you wish were different. Start with where you are at this point in time, accepting that this is where I intend you to be. You will get through today one step, one moment at a time. Your main responsibility is to remain attentive to me, letting me guide you through the many choices along your pathway. This sounds like an easy assignment, but it is not. Your desire to live in my presence goes against the grain of the world, the flesh and the devil. Much of your weariness results from your constant battle against these opponents. However, you are on the path of my choosing, so do not give up. Hope in me, for you will again praise me for the help of my presence. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So today's psalm is Psalm 66. Be joyful in God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your strength, your enemies shall bow before you. All the earth shall worship you, sing to you, and sing the praises of your name. Come now and behold the works of God. How wonderful he is in his dealings with humankind. He turned the sea into dry land, the river they passed through on foot, and there we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules forever. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, O you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to slip. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water. But you brought us out into a place of liberty. I will come into your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer you fat burnt offerings with smoke of rams, and I will sacrifice oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul. I called out to him with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had nursed evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has heeded the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his loving mercy from me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So our first reading this morning is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 39. Now Joseph was taken down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer, an officer of Pharaoh and captain of the guard, brought him from the Ishmaelites who had brought him down from there. The Lord was with Joseph and he became a successful man. He was in the house of the Egyptian master and his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord caused all that he did to prosper in his hands. So Joseph found favour in his sight and attended him. He made him overseer of his house and put him in charge of all that he had. From the time that he made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. The blessing of the Lord was all upon him and on his house and his fields. So he left all that he had in Joseph's charge and with him there had no concern for anything but the food that he ate. Now Joseph was handsome and good looking and after a time his master's wife cast her eye on Joseph and said, Lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Look with me. Look here, for my master has no concern about anything in his house, and he has put everything that he has in my hand. He is not greater in this house than I am, nor has he kept back anything from me except yourself, because you are his wife. How then could I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And although she spoke to Joseph day after day, he would not consent to lie beside her or be with her. One day, however, when he went into the house to do his work, and while no one else was in the house, she caught hold of his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. When she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and had fled, she called out to the members of her household and said to them, See, my husband had brought among us a Hebrew to insult us. He came in to lie with me, but I cried out in a loud voice, and when he heard me raise my voice and cry out, he left his garment beside me and fled. Then she kept his garment by her until his master came home, and she told him the same story, saying, The Hebrew servant whom you have brought among us came in to me to insult me, but as soon as I raised my voice and cried out, he left his garment beside me and fled. When his master heard the words that his wife had spoken to him, saying, This is the way your servant treated me, he became enraged. And Joseph's master took him and put him into prison, into the place where the king's prisoners were confined. He remained there in prison with them. But the Lord was with Joseph, and he showed him his steadfast love. He gave him favour in the sight of the chief jailer. And the chief jailer committed to Joseph's care all the prisoners who were in the prison. And whatever was done there, he was the one who did it. The chief jailer paid no heed to anything that was in Joseph's care, because the Lord was with him, and whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Our second reading is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, 
there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How then can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do not know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all of this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, for by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, for by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Jesus Christ. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we seek your help as we seek to model our own lives on the teachings of our Lord Jesus. At the heart of Jesus' teaching was that we are to love our neighbours as ourselves. And so we pray this day that we would be mindful of the needs of those who are less fortunate than ourselves. When we look at the life of Jesus, where he cared for the weak and the sick, and where he reached out to children, the poor and all of those who were vulnerable, may we also, Lord, be filled with that same attitude of mercy, that we may treat others with equal compassion and dignity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we think about the death of Jesus, we remember how his life was one of sacrifice, in which he willingly forsook his own needs and instead offered all he had for the welfare of others. Lord, we ask for the presence of your Holy Spirit to empower us to change and become less selfish, less proud, and more generous in the way that we give of ourselves to others in worship to you. We pray for spiritual vision, to see ourselves as we really are. Enable us, we pray, to see our own faults with the same clarity that we so often see the faults of others. Help us to seek always, to give to others the same kindness 
that we would like shown to ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, may our lives be examples of humility, that we might treasure others with the measure of love which you have shown for us. And so in a time of quiet reflection, let us bring before God our own prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.